Hey there, it's me, Zell, and we are here with the next installment of Kenobi Part 5. I'm uh, really looking forward to it. We obviously left last episode with a lot of in interesting information. They got Leia back, uh, but we saw all those imprisoned Jedi. That's my big interesting question. Ah, uh, all these imprisoned, tombed Jedi. I always like to have a gleam of hope in things when I uh, think about it, but... And then, uh, you know, Reva was close to getting, but uh, now that we discovered that Leia's little Lola robot has a tracker in it, that kind of changes things. So we're going to see where that kind of heads to. Yeah, I think that was the highlight of this episode. I actually really liked episode, part four, um, and I'm looking forward to part five. So let's get to it. Ooh, this is not Alderaan, is it? <gasps> ah, there you are. <gasps> I was beginning to think you weren't coming. Are you ready? Is that really Coruscant? Oh my gosh! Are you? Yes. Then let's begin. Oh my gosh! Look at him, he's so cute. Yeah, you think you can get away? Inquisitor. <gasps> oh, just how she wanted it. Ned. Oh. Haja, what are you doing? Right after I saw you, I got into a fight with that Aww. scary lady Inquisitor. Now I'm wanted by the Empire. We're approaching Jabin. The hyperdrive, though. Lock down the facility. If we seal them in now, they can hold out for days. If we cannot break them, it is not them we need to break. Just Obi-Wan. Just Obi-Wan. Please, 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 please. I think I saw a High Republic logo. I gotta have to analyze that. Those are all those, those are all lightsabers. I don't know why I didn't react to that. I was just facing them. He'll attack next. He has the patience for siege. How do you know? Because Anakin never was great at patience. You're too aggressive, Anakin. Be mindful. A Jedi's goal is to defend life, not take it. Ah! Mercy doesn't defeat an enemy, Master. Oh man, so many feelings I have seeing that. Launch the attack. Nice. They were in marching band. Take time right now, princess. Do as she asks. You trust me? I trust her. Get her the ladder. Get it, Obi-Wan. I know we said no communication, but your silence worries me. If he's found you, if he's learned of the children, if I don't hear from you soon, I'll head to Tatooine. Wow. Both of you. Doing his beard twist. Oh, are they communicating like that? Oh, maybe he's gonna find out her if backstory this is here. Stalling for time. Lord Vader will have you at any cost. You mean Anakin? See, he believes. He. I can't die. How did you know that? Vader would have kept that hidden. Answers, people. Answers. You're too young to have known him. Night of Order 66, you were a youngling. That's how you knew you saw him. Stop. Anakin killed the others. That's enough. He killed the other younglings, enough. but somehow you... Enough! Please flashback, please flashback. There you go, guys. You're right. Did she kneel? She wants to get strong enough to kill him. Hate him. She hates him. You're not serving him, are you? You're hunting him. Let me help you. 
why would I ever trust you? Because we want the same thing. Do we, Obi-Wan? Do you really want Anakin dead? You have no idea what I've done alone. Oh my gosh, too intense. Oh, Ned! Don't you dare touch Ned. He's gonna do hammer time. <laughs> Ooh. Oh no! Wait, how did the door shut? Kala and Ned. Kenobi is already ours. <laughs> Admit you are beaten. What is it? You want to tell me? Are you going to fight without a weapon? There are other ways to fight. He's going to try to convince Reva. You're not bringing him to me. I'm bringing him to you. This Ooh. isn't over yet. Playing dirty. What makes you think he won't see it coming? Because all he'll see is me. Oh snap, she's gonna die, isn't she? What, you're just holding him in there? Oh, I love this scene so much. He has, he was just here, there's like, that was close, Anakin, you need to chill. It's over. Your need for victory, Anakin, it blinds. Better get on the ship. I don't know why they weren't already on the ship waiting. Oh! Oh! Dude! Dude! That was insane! You're a great warrior, Anakin. But you're blind. But you'll need to prove yourself as your undoing. Uh, he had some... Humility in his eyes there. He's a Padawan right now. Why can't you put it in his back then light it up? To use you against me. He's freaking dodging her. It's, it's like a freaking dance. It's cool. She's so desperate. Oh, I'm like, is this first time we're taking dual wheels? Oh, he wants to combat. He wants to actually duel. He's only like half trying. Sister, revenge does wonders for the will to live, don't you think? We will leave you where we found you, in the gutter where you belong. <laughs> just all the things, not her dying, just so many things happening that was well she's gonna f survive and find the message oh no because he mentioned about luke something's wrong if you learned of the children 
I'm sure it's nothing. Thank you, Rogan. This episode was so good. Literally questions answered. How she knew it was Anakin. Yes, she was a youngling. And again, she's she just displaying personality just like Anakin, because guess what? They both have this desire for revenge. And that's exactly what. And of course he would know. Of course Vader would know. And then Grand Inquisitor, he's alive. He's around, just like I had a feeling. I love the, just the information we had. We had Tala's backstory. We had that wall of notes, which I want to look back at some point and analyze um, of this, oh, the beautiful scene, the flashback of Anakin and Obi-Wan fighting and dueling and another message and the tying it to that memory to both Obi-Wan and Anakin is just beautifully done. Ugh, I'm like sweating because it was so like, yeah, I like, I like the way they, <laughs> I laugh because it's just like, it's so exciting to see that. Like, again, I love, it takes time to tell a story and develop character. And I feel like a lot of the questions or maybe uncertainty that people were having, but for me were answered and I feel pleased about it. I'm really curious how they're going to wrap it up because we obviously know Kenobi survives, Luke and Leia survive. I don't know where they're going to go from here. Um, my one potential thought is Reva obviously surviving because I think with the Grand Inquisitor saying revenge is a powerful motivator to survive, right? Which he was speaking for himself, but it's worked for many characters as we've seen. <laughs> Maul, if Maul can survive, freaking she can survive being stabbed in the gut. So with this newfound like information, is she going to, I think she's lost her chance to get with back with Vader because he knows her intentions. Is she going to go rogue and still try to go after him or now it's against Obi-Wan because she feels double used, left behind as a youngling and then again used to allow them all to give it away, get away, right? Or is she going to turn a new leaf Probably not when the emphasis and again, you don't know when someone's grown up and that's been their forefront thought for so long. And she's like, I've done alone. There's so much fear and distrust. I don't think she's gonna come back. I don't think she's gonna have the redemption that we expect because she still is holding on to this chance of revenge, right? Um, Cause it wasn't just Anakin. She feels anger towards Obi-Wan as well. Just feeling abandoned. So really interesting revelations. Um, I'm really anxious and nervous that they're gonna go back to Tatooine, but obviously I don't know just how it's gonna pan out, like how the story, how is it going to be that Vader stops chasing Kenobi? Like he thinks he's dead again. Somehow he's gonna think that Kenobi is dead and he'll stop chasing him. Does something happen where he's like, eh, I'll just wait until we meet again in a new hope and we have our last duel, right? <laughs> Cause he clearly goes back to Tatooine at some point. Um, so obviously Vader never finds out about the children. Eh, I just have a lot of speculation and ideas, but I really like their touch on the paths and saving force sensitive children. And again, I liked the Tala story of, of being trained in the empire at Imperial, which we haven't seen too much in, we've seen in books, I think, Rebels, Callus and Rebels was like the main example I can think of, of having that major swap. Um, at least that's highlighted in the story. So I love Tala's same thing of being relatively well ranked in the Empire. Um, and she fought till the very last moment. Very sweet that her and Ned, I don't know why it makes me sad. <laughs> Ned um, shielded and protected her till the very last moment. It's just so sweet and they knew what they were doing using our feelers. But yeah, I, I'm really happy with this episode. I thought it was really, really satisfying fights. Um, I loved, again, Anakin, obviously, when he wasn't partly 
robot and um, machine, he had much more speed and he, he was always a ferocious fighter, but the speed and the moment, momentum he had as a Padawan against Obi-Wan in that flashback fight was much smoother and quicker. Whereas you see the fight he had with Reva at this point where it was very like, it was slower, but very meticulous in like, like the strength is just like no other. Oh, and let's not forget the insanity of him stopping, not like a small starfighter, like a passenger huge ship going away, taking off relatively full speed, not full speed, but still it's sheer size of it stops its engine pulls it back with not to mention can they robotically do that or is there a pilot in there that's just screwed and left behind but then ripping off chunks of the wall which we've seen small bits of that i don't think in rogue one he pulled off things the only thing i think about people pulling off debris off the wall is maul in the hallway but nothing to be like literally the whole the side of a ship that was amazing and i'm glad they did it to show the strength Vader. They go from there and then Reeve is like, you think you can fight him? That's why he's like, oh, we'll just duel. This is fun. Well, okay, bye. Like, you know, he knows he can overpower. So, and I completely, I, I liked how they set, wrapped that up. Yeah, he could force choke her and got rid of it. But part of it, I think, is like a game and almost like a small challenge he can do to like keep him tuned up, you know, if you want to think about it like that. So I don't think he just doesn't think of her as a threat um so that's why they left her behind to just really rub it in but yeah i'm i don't recall there being i guess we did say ray and kylo ren were probably both grabbing a ship together but um on the big screen i don't think we have i remember the force unleashed that was like the hugest ship i ever saw in the game when you're actually controlling it so it was really cool to see yeah so overall I like this episode. I hope you guys did, or at least my reaction review of it. Um, I'm excited for when the show is completed that we'll kind of go back and look at it as in its entirety. Um, it sounds like it's really, sounds like they're going to have it released out in theaters as all the episodes in like a big movie, which I think is really cool because as we've seen, people were really like, feeling lackluster with some of the information and revelations in the early episodes, but that's because they set you up for these final episodes, which I'm curious, I'm excited to see what they will show us in the final episode, um, final part six. So yeah, good job with the acting. Um, so I'm excited. Thanks so much for watching guys. Don't forget to like the video to support, comment with your thoughts, and don't forget to subscribe if you wanna see more. And yeah, thanks for being here. Bye.